So in this video, we will see how we can set different front panel states of a VI programmatically. That way we can call a VI from another VI and set its front panel states. We will see the different types of front panel states also. So let's go and create the front panel of our VI, but first let's save it. Let's call it front panel states. Okay. And we will have different buttons on the front panel. Let's create a free label. Let's increase size. and let's make it a bold so next let's place some uh, controls let's place a boolean button let's call it standard let's copy and paste Let's make it a little larger. Let's have another, let's make a copy. Let's call it maximize. Copy the label. Paste it. Let's create another another button let's call it minimize let's copy the label paste it let's have another one let's call it hidden And last, let's have a stop button for closing our VI. Let's select these two. Let's make the size Let's tidy them up. And we are done with our VI's front panel but before we close it let's set its VI properties since we will be launching another VI and if this VI is in its, uh, its front panel is normal then this will uh, be hidden behind it so to prevent it and keep it always uh, at the front so that we can come back and change the uh, different states of the called VI. Let's change its properties. Let's go to the appearance and set it to model. That way it will be always on top. Let's save it and next we will be going to its block diagram so 
So let's go and uh, create a the front panel. Uh, sorry, the block diagram. We will need, uh, but before that, let's create a VI that we will be uh, showing and handling the front panel off. It will be a simple VI. Let's call it, uh, let's save it. Let's call it um, front panel demo VI. Let's place a label. Let's enlarge the font. Let's make it 36. Let's make it bold. And let's resize its front panel to the way we want it to open. And that is all we need to do here. Let's save it and let's close it. Next, we would be calling it. To call it, we need a static VI reference. So we will go to the application palette and then we will select static VI reference. Let's place it. Double click it. And let's select the demo VI. Next, right click and let's go to create and method and we will be using front panel open method we want the front panel uh, open so that it it doesn't uh, give us any kind of errors and it is always open so we can handle it uh, next we will need a while loop for handling different events of the buttons we had created a moment ago and in an event structure So the first event uh, that we would be handling is stop button. So add event case, stop value change. And in that case, we would just close this VI. But we will be closing it by doing an OR with the errors. So We close it if this stop button is pressed or an error takes place occurs while the code is running. Okay, now let's go uh, to the uh, our first uh, state, which is let's say it is maximize. If this button is pressed, then the create a property for front panel window state let's change it to 
write, pass it the reference, connect the error wire, pass the error wire through, and the state that we would be setting would be, of course, maximize. Next, let's add an event case for, let's say, minimize. If this button is pressed, then we would be Let's change it to write as well, pass it the reference of the VI, pass on the error wire and the state would be set to minimized. Next we would be adding an event for hidden case. When we call this state then the VI's front panel is hidden from view. Create property node for front panel window and its state. into right and set the front panel state to hidden and the last state would be for standard And the other two properties are closed and invalid. Uh, these are read-only. Uh, if the, of course, the front panel is closed and not visible, then we can read whether it is closed or not. And uh, if if uh, we send a command to a front panel, suppose it's already closed and we send it again, then the state would be invalid. This is a read-only uh, state. So at the end, we will be uh, doing some uh, error handling. Simple error handler to let us know if the error occurred. And at the end, we would be creating a method for front panel Close. We would be closing the front panel of this VI. We'll place it inside a sequence structure. Why? Because even if some error occurred, we still want the front panel to close. And we will not pass this error wire. Otherwise, this function will not uh, be called. So we are done with the coding. Next, we will be testing our VI. So let's go and test the VI. So let's run it. And as soon as we run it, the front panel of the called VI opens. Why? Because we have set its front panel to open before we entered the loop. 
let's set it to maximize let's set it to standard let's set it to minimized it will go to the uh, task bar let's maximize it again let's turn it hidden let's turn it standard and so on so let's uh, uh, close the PI and stop the front panel of the called VI so this is how you can use uh, programmatic control of front panel of uh, different VIs and uh, you learned how the different states of the front panel operate thanks for watching